So, today I'm going to show you how to make a scrubby dishcloth by using very simple things that you've got around your home. So first of all, we need an old pair of socks. Preferably ones that you don't want to wear anymore because maybe they've got a hole in the toe or something. Then you need some pegs and a square top. Now you can do it slightly more professionally by using a piece of wood and hammering your nails in, um, but I'm trying to find things that you may have at home which is really easy to use. So first of all, what you need to do is get your sock, make sure it's nice and straight, and chop off the elasticated bit that goes around the top of the sock. Like so. Then this actually makes a really good scrunchy, like hair bubble. Then you want to cut off the toes of the sock as well. There we go. Then next you need to cut your sock into strips, like so. And you will ideally want 10 strips of sock. So, we need our box and we need some pegs. You can also use a wooden square and hammer nails in around the edge. This one is slightly more efficient, but not everybody has a wooden square and some nails to hang around the home. Whereas most people either have a box or a bowl and some pegs. So what you need to do is make sure that they are evenly distributed, your pegs around the edge of your box. Can start putting your socks on. So first of all, put your socks across, stretching them from one side of the bowl to the other, like so. You then want to turn your box around, get more socks, and you want to weave them. So hook it over the end of here, then go under the first sock, over the second, under the third, over the fourth, under the fifth, and then make sure it's straight, and then hook it over your final peg like that. But you can see, under and over. The next one you want to do it the opposite way, so you want to start off by going over the first sock, under the second, over the third, like so. And then keep on carry, carrying on doing the rest of those, doing it alternate ways each time. So the third one would be under to start with, followed by over. Now what we need to do is we need to tie it off at the end. So, if you take two, any two of the loops off and you thread the second loop through the first loop, like so, then carry on. So this loop will go through the second loop and gets pulled tight. So I'm now holding the new loop and thread it through like this and follow it round around the whole width of the scrubby. And then when your final one go, comes through, pull it tight. So once you've pulled the final one through, pull it a bit tighter 
and then you've got a handle to be able to hang it up. 